Okay, this is going to be part two. Um, what I did was I blanched some some um, cabbage and some collard green leaves. I've done this before. I call them collard dolmas, <laughs> which they're not, because dolmas I actually made out of grape leaves, but instead of using grape leaves, I use the collard green leaves. And then I have my rice and basically have put them in a um, just a piece of the just a small piece of the um, of the cabbage with the collard I think it's going to give it a nice flavor and a texture I also added with the rice a little bit of anchovy paste um, anchovy is a um, let me show you what it looks like just a little just enough to give it a little bit of flavor and I added just a little bit in there because what it does is um, it basically adds a little bit of flavor and it gives it some texture so it gives it some oils as well it's really delicious um, and um, it's it's a it's basically a savory if you treat it like a salt then it's really good and it just it changes the profile it changes the profile just a little bit um, I think it's a really good thing to have in your in your um, refrigerator is anchovy paste it's a real strong pungent salty and but if you use it in moderation um, it'll elevate it's like an umami and it'll elevate the flavors that you have already made uh, that you've already um, used in your um, in your sauces and in your rice like this is a rice this is like a basmati rice and it has the cremini mushrooms which is another umami and then the onions and the carrots and the celery uh, I didn't put any garlic in there I knew something was missing but um, I can still mix a little bit of garlic in there and give it a little bit more flavor but I think I'm gonna leave it because I really like the flavor of it right now you can also use a nutritional yeast if you want to use a, a vegan I would use a nutritional yeast and um, basically that's pretty much it and then you blanch your your um, you blanch your leaves for about a good five minutes five to, to six minutes and make sure that they're flimsy I have a skillet that's already I already oiled it with a little bit of grapeseed oil I might add some little bit of um, so you want to heat it up before you start putting them in and then you put them in where it's folded downwards and then you make a sauce and then you allow it to boil um, I'm still trying to figure out what kind of sauce I'm going to be making uh, I may I have a cornbread in the in there so the cornbread's gonna go really well with the collard greens and cabbage and the rice and of course I'm gonna I'm gonna include some kind of meat which is um, I'll probably be using that uh, slice it up and make it into I don't know I'll figure it out <laughs> I'm not much <laughs> I'm really wanting to cook for a long time I I'm kind of just tired and I wanted to take a little break from it but I know my grandbabies they watch these videos and they like watching their grandma and love you guys Mwah. miss you guys so much and um, yeah I miss my family so I just wanted to at least you can um, watch me with these videos and then you can see how your grandma cooks and how she's been cooking and learning from other people and hopefully you'll grab some of that so anyways I'm watching the Super Bowl and um, cooking and um, so a longtime friend is coming over and we're gonna have a little feast all right I'll talk to you later okay bye I'll let you know what it looks like if I think I need to show you okay thanks